Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to TechRite Reviews. This is Tasker Thursdays, episode 3. I'm going to show you how to completely automate your phone using Tasker and a few other apps. Make sure you've downloaded an app called Open Mic Plus and Tasker App Factory. I'll leave links in the description. The first method I'm going to show you does use a little bit more battery than the other way I'm going to show you. Once you've downloaded it, open up Open Mic Plus. If you scroll down, you can get to the Tasker settings within this app. It's called Tasker Commands. Here's where you add in your voice phrase that you want to say to activate your Tasker profile, which you choose here. So I'll just make one that says, turn phone off. And then I select my command, which is turn phone off. So now I can go back, activate this. Now when I'm anywhere on my phone, including my home screen, I can simply say, turn phone off. And it'll turn my screen off because I've made a Tasker profile that does that. Really anything you can do with Tasker, you can set it to be activated by your voice. Another example of something you can do is if you have the Tesla LED plugin installed in Tasker, you can set a command phrase that will find your phone by strobing the light. I'll call the command phrase, find my phone. And I selected the strobe light command. So now, after I activate it, I can simply say, find my phone. And as you can see, the strobe light is strobing, and that would let you see your phone if it was in a dark room. With a recent update to Google Now, they've added the ability to let you open apps through voice commands, so you can say, OK, Google, open Tasker. And now it'll automatically open the app. This can be really powerful if you make your Tasker profiles and commands an actual app, and then it doesn't waste battery by always listening, but just when you're in Google Now. I'm just going to demo this with an app that will turn my Bluetooth off. So once you're in Tasker, just long hold down on it, hit the menu button, export, and if you have the App Factory installed, hit As App. When you enter the package name, make sure you use all lowercase letters or it won't work. Doesn't matter at all what you do, just make it random. Or if you want to actually name it something, you can either way. And now it's exporting. After this is done, I have to install it as an app on my phone, and it'll simply prompt you to do it with this little Android guy right here. And now I can hit install. In your settings under security, you do need to enable allow unknown apps. So now that it's done, when I open up Google Now and hit the talk button, I can say open, and then I'll name the app whatever I called it. So this is called Bluetooth off, so I say open Bluetooth off. So it's opening it right now in the background, and you'll see the Bluetooth icon turn off right there. This does require a bit more work than the other way, since you do have to export every Tasker command as an app and install it on your phone, but it's definitely worth it for the battery savings if that's something you're concerned about. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for all of my videos.